Did you know China holds dozens of cities built for millions, but stands practically empty? The city of Kangbashi feels like a ghost city with districts of empty buildings. Then there's Tiandu Chang, a Paris knockoff with dozens of empty apartments that surrounded a replica of the Eiffel Tower. In this video, we will take a closer look at eight of the largest abandoned ghost cities in the world. But before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Mega Cities. Share your thoughts about these ghost cities in the comments below. Number 8. Kangbashi District, Ordos In the year 2005, an ambitious mega project took shape in Inner Mongolia, captivating the imaginations of architects, engineers, and mechanics alike. This project was none other than Kangbashi, a city built to accommodate Ordos' booming population. However, in 2010, the true colors of Kangbashi were revealed. Despite the initial optimism, the city remained overwhelmingly uninhabited. It became evident that the focus had been solely on work, neglecting essential amenities such as schools and hospitals. Instead, people were forced to commute from nearby Dongsheng for basic services. As the years went by, the gravity of the situation became undeniable. Housing prices plummeted, pushing the city into a financial abyss. Kangbashi's dream of becoming a thriving metropolis turned into a haunting nightmare of bankruptcy and wasted potential. Sadly, Kangbashi's tale highlights the major flaw that led to its inclusion on our list of ghost cities. It serves as a cautionary tale of misplaced priorities, where ambition overshadowed practicality and the needs of the residents were overlooked. Retired architects, engineers, and mechanics gaze upon the empty streets and unfinished structures, realizing the cost of such grand but misguided endeavors. Our next ghost city is a district born out of the desire to provide respite from the bustling city life. Number 7. Changgong District, Kunming It was in 2003 that the city of Kunming with its 3 million inhabitants embarked on a grand plan to construct a new town. Changgong. By 2013, Changgong had boasted impressive skyscrapers and modern railroads, creating the blueprint for a thriving urban landscape. However, one crucial element was missing – the people. Surprisingly, even Kunming's own government officials hesitated to embrace its tranquil suburb. Whispers circulated about the sale of freshly built government blocks to private entities, casting a shadow of uncertainty over the district's purpose. The absence of people in Changgong stemmed from a combination of factors, including slow migration and a reluctance to leave established city life. The town's initial promise faltered, resulting in a hauntingly empty urban landscape. With Changgong's failure to become a populated city, it defines the label of a complete ghost town. The next city attempted to replicate the charm of Paris, but found itself devoid of the vibrant crowds. Number 6. Tianducheng, China In 2007, China's fascination with replicating global landmarks led to the creation of Tianducheng, a bold endeavor to have their own version of Paris. Complete with an Eiffel Tower replica and a meticulously recreated Luxembourg Gardens fountain, Tianducheng aimed to captivate 10,000 Paris enthusiasts. However, the town's population reached only around 20% of its intended capacity. Streets now echo with emptiness. Closed shops stand as silent witnesses, and the once famous fountain remains dry, painting a haunting scene. Tian Duchang's downfall can be attributed to exorbitant real estate prices and shifting economic conditions, driving away potential residents. Today, curious foreign travelers and couples seeking picturesque photo shoots make up the sporadic visitors. Even amidst this desolation, construction persists, showcasing a determination for growth. Yet the future of Tian Chang's envisioned completion remains uncertain, casting a shadow of shame over this ghostly megacity. Number 5. Guomen Bay Next on our list, we shine a light on Guomen Bay, a city that epitomizes both ambition and disappointment. 
In 2010, the joint effort between China and North Korea took shape, envisioning the construction of the majestic Yalu River Bridge, a symbol of unity and connection between neighboring nations. However, prepare for the plot twist that unfolded in 2014. Despite the initial promise, the bridge construction came to an unexpected halt, casting a shadow of uncertainty over Guomen Bay. The vision of seamless connectivity became a fragmented dream. This setback had far-reaching consequences. Trade between China and North Korea anticipated to fuel economic growth never materialized. The unfinished bridge on the North Korean side became a symbol of dashed hopes and unfulfilled potential. As the completed bridge remained elusive, Guomen Bay faced an uphill battle. Apartment sales stagnated, and the allure of relocation waned. The city, once pulsating with promise, succumbed to a rapid decline in population. Today, the streets of Guomen Bay lie eerily silent, echoing the failed ambitions that led to its ghostly existence. It serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities and challenges that can plague even the grandest of mega-projects. Now let us take you into the eerie realm of Jingjin New Town, where European and Chinese architectural combine to give a different feel of a ghost city. Number 4. Jingjin New Town and Baodi District In the early 2000s, the construction of Jingjin New Town began, boasting an impressive array of amenities that promised a dreamlike experience. The sprawling landscape encompassed 3,000 luxurious villas, a prestigious five-star hotel, an immaculate golf course, a captivating museum, a serene hot springs resort, a tranquil temple, two esteemed colleges, and a plethora of entertainment facilities. It was the epitome of a perfect vacation getaway. However, amidst the grandeur, a stark reality emerged, the challenge of attracting residents. Despite the meticulous planning and construction efforts, the town struggled to entice individuals to make this modern haven their home. The vision of a bustling community remained unfulfilled, leaving Zhengzhen New Town shrouded in uncertainty. The reasons for this reluctance are multifaceted and elusive. Perhaps the allure of nearby cities or the convenience of established urban centers pose formidable competition. Whatever the underlying factors may be, the task of luring inhabitants to this urban oasis proved to be an insurmountable obstacle. And now we turn our attention to the captivating tale of Wonderland, a mega project that was meant to redefine the amusement park experience in China. Number 3. Wonderland, Beijing In the 1980s, construction commenced on Wonderland with great aspirations. This visionary theme park aimed to rival Disneyland and was hailed as Asia's largest amusement park in the making, symbolizing China's impressive economic growth and its path toward modernization. However, in 1998, a dramatic turn of events shattered the dreams of Wonderland's creators. Construction abruptly ceased due to a contentious disagreement between the builders and the local government, primarily centered around property prices. This unforeseen twist set the stage for the park's subsequent downfall. What followed was a haunting transformation. The once promising structures of Wonderland, destined to be filled with laughter and joy, now stood as solemn reminders of an unfulfilled vision. The story takes an intriguing twist as local farmers seize the abandoned land, transforming it into their own personal playground. Livestock roamed freely amidst the half-completed attractions, and crops thrived where once excited visitors were expected to gather. And let us tell you, nature did not waste any time reclaiming its territory. The place turned into a wild jungle with weeds and vines taking over. And of course, there were spooky stories too. People started whispering about ghosts haunting a graveyard in the area that got dug up during the park's construction. It's a tragic tale of a mega project that fell from grace, leaving behind a ghost town that echoes with the echoes of lost hopes and ambitions. Now, let's explore the vast halls of the new South China Mall, a mega project that has captured the attention of ghost city enthusiasts worldwide. Number 2. The New South China Mall, Guangdong 
In 2005, this mall emerged onto the scene, boasting an awe-inspiring distinction. It was not just large, it was double the size of the renowned Mall of America, spanning a staggering 7.1 million square feet of leasable space. It was a retail paradise designed to house over 2,300 stores. However, the grandeur of the new South China Mall was overshadowed by an astounding revelation. Despite its prime location in the vibrant cities of Dongguan and Guangzhou, it suffered from a horrific 99% vacancy rate, resulting in its sprawling halls remaining eerily empty. The main reason behind this ghostly spectacle was the formidable challenge of securing lease agreements with vendors. For an entire decade, the mall's occupancy rate struggled to exceed 10%, a mere fraction of its ambitious expectations. By 2011, the mall became completely abandoned and remains this way today. Number 1. Nanji Kun Hanan In the early 1990s, we find ourselves in Nanji Kun Hanan, China. At this time, the world was captivated by the concept of a self-sustaining communist village, an experiment in communal living and collective agriculture. However, as the years unfolded, Nanji Kun's narrative took an unexpected turn. In 1994, it became clear that the utopian vision had its flaws. Despite initial success and optimism, internal divisions arose, and dissent began to seep into the fabric of the community. This marked the prelude to its downfall, revealing that even the most well-intentioned endeavors have their vulnerabilities. The major reason why Nyanji Kun find its place on our list is the stark realization that its grand experiment ultimately proved futile. It served as a cautionary tale of the challenges inherent in implementing a rigid communal structure on a large scale. While the concept was noble, the execution faced significant hurdles, leading to dwindling enthusiasm and disillusionment among its residents. Today, Nanji Kun is like a ghost town. With only 3,250 people living here, its once bustling collective farms have given way to scattered plots and dilapidated buildings. The echoes of past idealism can still be heard, but the reality is that the village has failed to live up to its initial promise. The schools, apartment complexes, and hospitals that were once buzzing with activity now sit empty and forgotten. It's not just any abandoned farm. It is China's last collective farm and the most deserted one. So let us know your thoughts on these ghost cities. Do you think they have a chance of being revitalized? Or will they remain abandoned forever? Share your opinions down in the comments below.